Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this, I would like to offer the mid-October elemental relationship reading for the element of Earth. Uh, these readings are uh, general readings, so take what works, leave the rest for someone else. I read intuitively, so the messages that come through may or may not match the exact meaning on the cards. And uh, I read for the first, first, excuse me, <laughs> first I'll read for the singles within the element of Earth, and then I'll read for the couples within that same element. Uh, I'm splitting them up, just kind of seeing if you guys like this particular version better than doing them all in one video. Um, Earth covers Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And if you're new here, hit that like button, hit <laughs> subscribe if you like to see this type of content, and comment your thoughts, feelings, and impressions down below. Anything I can do better, anything that might need to be adjusted a little bit, let me know. Um, or just let me know your thoughts on the reading too, that's cool. So we'll hop into this. Um, the first energy that I like to pull is from a chakra deck. It's a gift from a friend, and I really do appreciate this deck. Uh, but not as tuned into this one as I would like to be, so we will go with my first gut impressions, my first intuitions, and then we'll read from the book. So for Fire Earth Singles, we have number four, and it's the grounding energy. I'm going to go with this as Ganesh, but number four is also for Earth, the connection to Earth. This is your root chakra. This is foundational energy for you. And with this particular en energy, what I'm seeing first of all is that we have this earth has this beautiful sense of peace and joy there's obstacles being cleared out for the earth energy so if you are happy being single but you want to extend your friends group this is a good time for that things are going to be removed for that to happen or if you're single and looking to make a connection and start a relationship we have this energy of what I'm hearing that your foundation is stable and strong so what is it that needs to be maybe adjusted a little bit so that you can open that door more positively for a relationship? And we'll hop over here to the book. And we are in the root chakra. And it is Ganesh, the elephant-headed god. Born from earthen clay of the body of his mother Shakti, the feminine half of the divine energy that emanates the, animates the world. He is often invoked before the beginning of any project to remove obstacles and give protection. So Ganesh is really saying, what are we doing? We are tied to earth. This deity is an earth deity. You are the earth element, especially earth singles. The root shocker connects us to the heart of Gaia. So you have a very positive vibe going on here, earth. Basically, the energies are aligned in your favor going forward. What is it that you want to create? And what is it that you feel or see or think might be in the way? And can you actually release that to Ganesh to deal with? Your key words are becoming grounded, balancing yin and yang dualities, finding the next step or right path, removing obstacles, feeling secure and protected. So what I'm hearing for Earth singles for as far as your chakra, it is in your root. This is the foundational principles of you, you as a person. And so we're dealing with... What is it that maybe might be, maybe, <laughs> what is it that could be in the way or what is it that is foundational that is great with you right now? Or what could be, is great but needs a, maybe a little tweak or adjustment? That's what Ganesh is offering. If there's something that's in the way, how can we fix this? If it's something that is doing great, awesome. How can we protect it and make it stronger? And if you're single and you're Earth and you want to stay single, great how can you improve your friends group how can you find more peace and harmony in your life overall finding that uh, ability to dance again if you're feeling a little stuck in life because if you notice he's dancing a little bit in this picture um, and if you are looking for a relationship again what can what can Ganesh help you work on deal with open up a door for that will invite that relationship in for you to enjoy and be at peace and happiness with your first tarot is number 18 the moon with archangel haniel psychic insights events behind the scenes releasing fears that hold you back 
Ganesh is coming forward at the perfect time because Haniel is also works with your subconscious mind and removing blocks of especially relationship issues. The moon is a divine feminine energy and it is all about compassion. It's all about caring. It's that heart expansion energy. Although you're working with the root is where you're at this month. What it's saying is this is the time for you, you earth. What is it you're wanting to create? Earth singles, you've got everything lined up in your favor. Your intuition is actually a little bit higher than normal this month. So pay attention to that person who gives you that look. Or maybe it's that subtle comment and you just feel that urge to ask that person out. Go with the flow with this month, but definitely make sure your foundation is stable. Bring in the energies that are the most beneficial for you. Ganesh is the energy that's coming forward with this, but it could be any number of div divinities. Uh, Venus, Aphrodite, pick your, <laughs> pick your term. Um, but what I'm hearing is this is definitely a time of new beginnings for our Earth family. Your second one is the Ten of Water, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotions and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. This is the goal, is what I'm hearing for you, Earth. You want this nice, stable, grounded, positive relationship. You're single right now, and so you ha you have this relationship with yourself. You're good. What is it that you're doing, that, or what is it that you want to move out of the way so you can bring in this other energy? Because it's saying... Earth, you've got things going for you right now. Everything's set up very positively. Your intuition is going to be something that is going to come in very handy with Archangel Haniel and the moon. But the Ten of Water is like the final outcome. Like you have this goal in mind. You have this awesome dream, this white picket fence, two and a half kids, three dogs, you know, all that fun stuff. You have this vision. You're just not sure how to get there yet. And that's where Ganesh can be like, dude, let's, let's, Let's break through some barriers here. Let's get some stuff out of the way so we can move this. So Earth Singles, definitely a time of growth and expansion for you. Your relationship light actually is really nice right now if you want a new one or if you are content where you're at. It's definitely a time to enjoy things where you're, where you're at. There's not a call for a lot of active movement for you. It's more of what's up? What you going for? What are we, what are we working on here? So definitely more positive vibes for earth and let's take a part peek at our earth couples and see where they are at earth couples the deck gave me four cards we're not doing four at a time <laughs> um, so earth couples where is our earth couples crew at and we have number 42 interference so that's an interesting one there's a lot going on on this card so what I'm hearing with this number, number 42, this is either third eye or crown energy is what I'm getting here. It's definitely, there's things that are not, things are not clear for you right now, Earth couples. There's something that is in the way. There's something that is coming up that is causing a little bit of a hiccup in your relationship. It's not saying this is a massive negative, but there's a little bit of disagreement, a little bit of discontent coming forward from it. Uh, and it's definitely not something to focus on. It's more of like, are you serious? This is where we're at. Let's let's get through this so we can move on. Because, um, you know, makeup activities are so much more fun than the fight itself. So, and that's what I keep hearing. So it is your third eye chakra. And... Do, 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 do. Oh, man. We have the animal in the center there is a swan, which... couple of swans you can barely see them in the in picture or they're right here and right here um, and it is Hamasa a pair of beautiful swans symbolizes the strength knowledge and wisdom of the soul finding its way home through the maze of worldly existence the crescent moon sitting beneath the third eye of the celestial insight is the carrier of the sound Aum, invisible in its Sanskrit figure so that would be this figure and that's the third eye is up there um, to our keywords. So this is just the keywords. Arrogance, lessons to be learned from the ego, separatism from others, false pride, needing for balance, balancing the chakras, being lost on bumpy roads to awareness and growth. So, Earth, <laughs> couples, you have this divine pull. 
inside to move and then grow and then to increase. You're not angry with your partner swans mate for life most of the time. And that's what I'm hearing for you is this is a lifetime commitment for you. There's something that's not quite in the way. That's where you need to recheck your balances. Sometimes if your chakras are out of alignment, and I mean that literally, or if something within the relationship, a dynamic has shifted because of a new baby or a house or a new job or whatever, there's a time of new balance and that can cause some tension, some push and pull. What this is saying is allow yourself that peace to reset. Allow yourself to tap into that Aum sound, A-U-M or O-M or whatever. It's the symbol here in the center. Um, this guy. When you tap into that, it's the sound of the creative knowledge. It's the sound that Shiva and spoke, or no, <laughs> Shakti spoke from Shiva's energy and created the universe, depending on the lore you read. This is where you have the ability and the power to create an amazing future. Don't get distracted by simple dumb things, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> and that might, in this moment, it might be like, it's not dumb, it is a very serious thing, okay? look forward six months is it really going to be important in six months because if the answer is no it's not important now uh, it's just something to be frustrated about and that new balance there's always a little bit of growing pains with growth that's just how it is so there's a, that new balance adjusting to it can take some time what i'm hearing is show yourself and your partner compassion show yourself and your partner love time and space can deal with anything and it, what I'm hearing is you guys are already bonded on an exceptionally deep level. Don't let something goofy like this get in the way is what I'm hearing. Whatever problem it is, it's showing up. Your first card is seven of water, a complex decision that need to do research. Stop procrastinating. This is basically saying the same thing. What's going on it may not be fully understood just yet. That's where the seeking of balance comes in. Because once the balance is maintained all the, or regained, Everything that's been the issue is just going to fall away and I'll be like, oh, okay. But it's one of those things where if you're not doing, willing to step up and look at that, that energy right now, things could get a little rough later. doesn't mean it's going to stay that way, but this is definitely saying what's going on right now in the big scheme of your, you as a couple's relationship is minor. Don't make it bigger than it is. Uh, and that's where doing some research, checking in specifically with your partner in a neutral way. Don't, you you need to tell me what's wrong or have them commit you with the same tone. Don't do that. It's one of those, so what's going on? How's your life? How are things? Have dinner together. Actually listen to the other person. We have one mouth, two ears, meaning we should be listening twice as much as we talk. So that's what we're calling for in this energy. What I'm, what I'm hearing is that this is a time of growth reminding yourself that you're connected in a way that is unique for you and it's deeper than what people realize your second card is the six of air things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip this is your outcome earth couples deal with what's going on readdress your balance and get a move on things are in your future looking really really good once this situation has been balanced <laughs> they said that the extra money that's coming in, if it's a financial financial thing, is actually going to benefit you long term because you're going to be able to do more than what you originally planned. If it's something that is more um, buying a new house or new vehicles, figure out what's going on because sometimes one person has a knee-jerk reaction to, yes, we need this particular one. The other one's like, that's too expensive. And you can find a middle ground where the perfect vehicle lines up. Overall, what I'm hearing with this is things by the end of October, first part of November, they're going to be in a much better place for you guys as a relationship. Right now, it's a little rough, but that's a balance that needs to be addressed. And they're saying just as water, when it's rippled, it does its thing, but will eventually smooth out. This is not a long term situation. This is very minor in the grand scheme of life. So accept it as such laugh as much as you can and move forward in grace and beauty of the divine because they're here and they're helping you with they're helping you when you allow them in so and that's an interesting way of phrasing it but that's the image the image that they gave me so 
I just repeat it. <laughs> um, as you're going forward this month, uh, Earth singles and couples, embrace who you are as an individual. If you're in a relationship, embrace yourself within the relationship. Find ways to f find ways for humor to exist within your life. Everything can be dealt with. There's no such thing as it's an insurmountable problem. Find ways to laugh through it. Laugh with each other. Laugh at the situation. Because most of the time, the situation, when you look back on it, was minor in the beginning, and it was minor at the ending. But when you're in the middle of it, it always feels bigger than it is. So keep your sense of humor healthy, Earth. And remember, things are going to be really good at the end of this. Right now, might be a little hiccupy, but that's fine. You'll, you'll work through it. Uh, with that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your month. Keep your chin up. Keep a smile on your face. Find every reason you can to laugh, and I will see you in the next video.